Hi everybody. Um, do you ever go to an event or you know have some type of conversation where you just walk away and you're actually like super pumped up and excited? Um, today I, I did an event at uh, AWS and HEMS, the, the one of the healthcare kind of uh, organizations, business organizations, of course heavily focused on data and AI, etc. And um, even though healthcare is not my industry expertise, um, you know, software is, and software is industry agnostic, I'm trying to build solutions that can be used across different industries. And if you think about AI, or if you think about data, um, you know, a lot of the data processes underneath that that's being used are really kind of consistent, are in, uh, are interchangeable regardless of the industry. And so, A, just listening today in regards to, you know, the, the business challenges that are happening, um, you know, again, industry agnostic, things like, you know, we're struggling to deal with, um, you know, innovation versus operations. Um, we're struggling with things like um, literacy or even cultural, uh, what do you want to say, almost like cultural rejection of technology um, in regards to, you know, <laughs> healthcare, etc. cetera. Um, they're also struggling with things like, um, you know, how do I handle ethics? Or, you know, how do I actually join all this data that's disparate across all these different business systems and flows? We don't have a cohesive strategy. And if there's anything that anyone can walk away from when it comes to AI, regardless of the industry, is that, you know, AI has to be integrated and really a part of your of your data strategy. Um, it's it, 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 There is no AI without data, period, 100%. There's no AI without data. Um, so to me, I walked away being super innovative, um, you know, I, it charged up because I love to hear about, um, I love to learn, I love to hear about, you know, business process challenges and problems. I love to hear about technology approaches. But in addition to this, I got super pumped up because of what we're doing on the association front. Um, you know, everyone's heard me talk about the association. We've got this nonprofit that's really focused on, um, you know, enabling the AI implementers, um, the people at each one of the companies and each one of the industries who is in charge of the data, the access, the policy, the quality, the life cycle, et cetera, which they're the AI implementers. And that's the people who work in AI data, ethics, privacy, robotics, security. And what I was pumped up about is that earlier this week, um, you know, we've got our ethics and standards group that we're, you know, forming and storming and kind of launching. And we had decided as a forum that our first topic in regards to, you know, creating the council and getting meaty conversations where we start to apply practitioner knowledge to the challenges that exist in the field to enable um, an ethical quality AI future is healthcare. And so hearing about some of the challenges, um, you know, getting to meet some of the different uh, organizations and businesses here in the Seattle area and hearing some of the technology approaches um, is going to lead to some incredible conversations um, that we will be standing up and announcing very, very soon. So if you are in healthcare, okay, or if you are really interested in kind of targeting and, uh, you know, targeting and really working through um, some of these ethical, bias, you know, quality scenarios, regardless of industry, we're going to be talking about implementation standards, technical implementation standards that allow you to be ready and proactively to drive that conversation within your company and to actually drive the regulations and the lobbyists as to how we actually manage the elephant in the room, which is the data. Stay tuned, everybody.